What I love to do when I'm working on a bar suite is to take the gesture away from the instrument first. We have so many thoughts and expectations that create blockages in our body and prevent us from doing the most natural of movements that we would do so perfectly if we were to just stroke a cat or that we see every day and we look out of the window and we see a, a autumn leaf falling from a tree or a wave in the ocean. All these movements are completely natural and yet we don't allow ourselves to access them. So the first thing I do is take my best friend, the djembe, and we can, a knee does just as well. And I try and find the gesture, just the basic skeleton of the gesture first in my whole body. So involving my torso, my feet, and trying to quieten down my thoughts and my head. So the allemande would go something like this. So as you can see, if I do it on the drum, I lean in, I, I lean in from my sitting bones, I put my whole weight into the first impulse, and then I just let myself lean away and relax back from that one impulse. All the rest of the notes are a consequence of that first impulse, just as they are if you're skimming stones in a lake and you have one throw which creates several jumps. In my case, probably only one, if I'm very lucky, but some people are able to do more than that. So I know we all have a great conductor and we also know that that's a pretty rare thing, those of us who play in orchestra. And that process is a bit like finding our own inner conductor so that we've got something absolutely solid but alive that we can rely on and which leaves us free to improvise the details because we're not going to get lost. It's a bit like having a really good map. Another thing I'm really interested in is breath and how it supports us and indeed inspires us. Breath is tension and release. It's taking in and letting go. It's inspiration and expression. Funnily enough, tension gets a really bad press, especially amongst musicians. And yet, of course, where would we be without it in a Beethoven symphony, without the dominant chord, for example? The thing about tension is that it has to go hand in hand with release. It has to go hand in hand with a resolution in music and in our bodies with release. And yet that's the place I think that we really don't know intimately enough. The other day I was listening to a wonderful yoga teacher, John Stirk, talking and he was saying that at the end of the exhale is where the soul lies. I thought that was so beautiful. And it made me think about this place of rest how at the end of the exhale, at the end of release, there is rest. If we don't know that place, if we're not comfortable with being at rest, then how can our audience know it? How can our audience actually breathe with us? The breath is the most amazing teacher, and I'm really looking forward to exploring it with you.